Arian, and I am the owner and operator of Arian, the Notary 24-7 Pro Mobile Signing Services. And I am beginning my presence on my YouTube channel. This will be my very first video, so I'm excited. If I'm not good, please give me a chance to warm up to this and get used to recording and talking and all of that good stuff. But I wanted to start this because I get so many questions from people all the time um, about what notaries do, um, processes, what type of identification they have to have. Um, I mean, all kinds of different things. All the way to, do I go to jails? Do I go to courtrooms? Um, will I come to their business, to their home? If we can sign in the parking lot of Starbucks? Like, I mean, like literally I get all types of questions. And it's funny because notary work is such a... Um, job that a lot of people don't even know what a notary is until they receive some type of paperwork that requires them to have a notary. And it's interesting because even how I became a notary, I didn't even know what a notary was when I became a notary. I was so blessed to be offered an opportunity to assist someone with something that they were doing. And in exchange, they offered to give me my, um, to take care of the expenses of all of my notary classes, my notary supplies, in exchange for me to notarize documents for their business, and then anything that I did outside of their business that I would get to keep that money. Sound like a great arrangement to me. I'll figure this out as I go. An additional certification is always good, right? That's what I was thinking. So we went through with it. They ended up buying a house, moving before I even received my certification. So I never did a single notary signing for them. However, I did have this degree or this certification and I went forward with it and I've been able to grow a successful business. And so here I am today and I wanted to just talk about um, a lot of times when I'm doing hospital signings and with hospital signings, I am typically faced with a person who is in the emergency room they're about to go into surgery and the family is concerned that um, they may not make it out of surgery um, they're concerned that this might be the last time that they may be able to take care of some arrangements but this person is on all type of tubes and wires and they're worried that they're not even going to be able to sign so there is a way to do this if this person is say they just had a stroke and they have no movement of their limbs um, all they can do is just shake their head yes and no or maybe they can wink once for yes twice for no whatever the situation is I've had people that have um, not even been able to do that they just squeeze, uh, squeeze, squeeze what's the word I don't know they would squeeze my hand once for a yes or squeeze it twice twice for no so whatever the situation is um, with 14 years of, of experience I um, am so empathetic in these situations because I, my heart just goes out to them and and what they're dealing with so I am incredibly patient when it comes to these clients and I just find out what their motor skills are and, and are not what they're able to do and then I communicate with them in the best way that I can with them in the condition that they're in so in these cases if the person cannot sign then first I make sure that they are coherent enough to understand what's going on um, what they're signing the paperwork that's in front of them and to make sure that the wishes that the family has um, given to me are the wishes of the actual signer and once I'm able to um, discern that or to find out that information then I'll get identification that takes me to the second pitfall a lot of people especially if they're older in a senior home or something like that they don't have a driver's license because obviously they haven't been driving um, and so a lot of them may not even have a senior car some of them do if you are a senior and you no longer drive you still need identification so go to the DMV request a senior card um, I think they only have to be updated like every 10 years or so but if you ever need paperwork signed or anything legally done you still have to have some type of identification and a lot of times my seniors will have the senior card and then you're covered you don't have any issues However, if you're just now seeing this video and you don't have a senior card yet, you can use two credible witnesses. So this person must be um, present, they must have a valid driver's license or ID, and they have to be able to identify who you are. 
and watch you actually sign the paperwork in front of me. So as long as you have those two people who have nothing to do with the paperwork that we're signing, they're present, then I can notarize for that person. Now, moving on to the signature by Mark. What will happen if this person um, has no control or cannot hold a pen or anything like that? What I would have to do is I explain to the signer um, that I um, know that this is probably uncomfortable um, however, in order for us to execute this paperwork, I have to get some type of mark. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do need you to, on your own, make some type of a mark. We can date for you. Um, we can take, a, take care of the rest for you, but we will need you to create some type of a mark. And what I usually tell them is that I will sanitize a pen, and then we would have to place it into their mouth, and then just have them just move their head so that they can make a mark with um, the pen using their head movement on the paper. Now, oh my gosh, the first time I did this, this was like, I felt like a horrible person. Even though I knew I was doing my job, but just the, just seeing the look on that woman's face when she had to accept this suggestion to place a pen in her mouth for her to just move her head like I just remember her breaking down and tearing up and like I'm a contagious crier so I was like oh my god please don't make me cry too but um we were able to make it through and in these situations because it's so delicate and so tender and so emotional and the family is you know already dealing with so much that you just I just deal with these with as much empathy and sympathy as I possibly can, but still remaining professional and still being able to make sure we execute a legal document um, that won't be called into question as it regards to how it was done. So um, signature by Mark is just that. I mean, if the person is usually a left handy a right handed person and we have to have them sign with the left hand, that's fine. They can just sign as best as they can. It does not have to match their ID. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just have to get something down on a piece of paper. And then at that time, we will use the witnesses to um, write out that person's name. And then they're basically going to sign the paperwork as well, showing, yes, this person did sign. Yes, they did sign with the mark. No one forced them into doing it um, and that they were identified. So in a nutshell, that is a signature by Mark. And um, I'm glad I didn't get too emotional with that because those are very emotional situations. Um, but it's very necessary in times. And it's good to know that even though they're in that state, that they could still get documents taken care of. They can still take care of their business without worrying about their property going into probate, which nobody wants, believe me. But anyway, so um, I'm going to end this because um, I don't want these to be too long. But again, I'm Arian the Notary, and um, hopefully that sheds some light a little bit about Signature by Mark. If you need no uh, mobile notary services or if you want to come to us, um, we also offer that as well. Like I said, we go to jails and hospitals and courtrooms and Starbucks and Costco and businesses and wherever you are. Just give me a call or you can email. My website is ariannotary.com. You can email us or you can also call or text at 909-910-4650. We um, offer services 24-7 wherever you are um, in the Southern California area. So please give us a call and we can answer any questions that you have and um, hopefully set up an appointment. Can't wait to meet you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.